Video two on this 325 1987 with 240,000 miles on it uh, with my coffee warmer holder. This is one thing BMW, it's a feature they don't really advertise, but they make a coffee holder right here. And when the engine's warm, it keeps your coffee hot while you're working. Uh, I didn't catch the vacuum. I decided to do this video later. I'm actually gonna actually walk you through a, a series of videos here. I, we're gonna do a triple evac and flush because i'm trying to get the moisture content down he's going back to r12 it was 130 well it was contaminated 134 retrofitted and i'm putting it back to r12 if, if it passed all my leak tests because he wants it that way and um and i got a couple i'm getting i'm trying to get rid of all my r12 by the end of next year uh, i got just under 400 pounds left and i want to sell it all off uh, I'm not going to do no more R12 after this, so anybody who catches me and wants to get a hold of me for the last of my R12, then this is it, because after the next year or two, um, I'm not even going to bother buying anymore, or probably, maybe not, I'll still recover and recycle a little bit. Even for my own vehicles, I won't keep it, because I'm going to probably convert all my own stuff over to propane. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got some eyebrows right there. So, this was sticking at roughly 1800 microns and probably for the first 10 or 15 minutes it could not get below 1800 microns some of that was flashing off of what refrigerant was in the oil but a lot of its moisture i have both vacuum pumps you could barely call this a vacuum pump but i have both vacuum pumps on they're both open and usually within 30 on an old r12 system with mineral oil in it if it only had mineral oil in it uh, I could get below 500 microns in five minutes, usually if it's a dry system, really fast. I can't even get it down to 500 microns, and you can see at the zero mark, one minute, two minute, three minutes, I already have 15 minutes on there. And with the vacuum pumps running, with the valves open, I still can't get below this. So this is one hell of a wet system. Uh, very unusual, well, somebody put ester oil in here poe oil when they did their retrofit most likely and that's why i'm having this trouble 240,000 miles 1987 doesn't make a difference on moisture if it was a r12 system with mineral oil that was never touched by anyone mineral oil doesn't absorb moisture like poe or pag so let me uh put a little well let me set up i'm going to set up the nitrogen and the next video you're going to watch me go through a series that i don't know if i'll do all three maybe i only do it once for the video and you guys can use your imagination repeat two more times and we'll watch how the vacuum goes down see you in the next video number three coming up